Your phone touches itself? It dials itself. You're talking about in the divinals sense? It touches itself? When it hey, thinks man, about you? It. Square footage, better feng shui. Come on over whenever you get a chance. You gotta get some more ingredients before we can cook. Collect toilet paper? I learned a few other things while I was interrogating those scabs. They said they were working with Norton. He was supplying them with plans for upgraded weapons in return for protection. Asshole! But he sent them to the train station as soon as he hung up with me. I would go kick his butt right now. But he has the rest of the troop on his side. The only way we're going to win them over is to find Brill Cream and return him to the troop. We're working on that right now. I You're making an exorcist uh, uh, reference that I didn't the catch. Signals are analog. Gotcha. Call me when you figured it out. You bet. Toilet paper hangs on streetlights. <laughs> I'd like to take that quote out of context. I want to go there. Invisible wall. Well, there's a street light. Random stuff switches pages, tries to unlock itself. <laughs> it's becoming sentient. Sentient. It's Scarlett Johansson. Hey, where'd my awesome music go? Am I not doing awesome stuff anymore? I feel very, very judged, emasculated. Well, I'm, I'm a woman, I guess. Then I go to the church. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> so I want toilet paper is what I want. Calcifox, Fox, you tell me it hangs from street lights. The toilet paper hangs from street lights. It sounds like a coded message. Guns? I don't even know what half these things mean anymore. Not all street lights. Gotcha. But that's where you'll find it. Thank you. Shoes? I'm collecting shoes too? I don't, I don't even know half of this stuff is going on. There's a street light. Agent Calcifox. <laughs> Wow. Hello, I'm Brandon Winfrey, and welcome to what used to be Sunset TV. Is that a face? No, it's just some exploded OD. Come on. Oh, wait a second. Let's not be. Let's not be sticklers about this. Let's not be petty. I want that. I want that thing that I could have had. Oh man. Castle Fox, you're confusing us. <laughs> Toilet paper hangs from street lights, but not all street lights. That's a way to do this, I guess. There we go. Watch Sunset TV and boat. I just passed some? Okay.
Hello, I'm Brandon Winfrey, and welcome to what used to be Sunset TV, but is currently not that thing. Sunset TV was a show where we used to update players on all the newest Sunset Overdrive updates, fan art, and stuff like that. If you want to watch all the old episodes of Sunset TV, you can at youtube.com slash Sunset Overdrive game. If you just want to keep up to date with all the latest Insomniac Games info and our adventure to make more games, follow us at Insomniac Games on Twitter and at Sunset Overdrive. Right now, we have a very special guest appearance from the creative director, Marcus Smith, and the game director, Drew Murray. Hi, I'm Drew. I'm Marcus. This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> How are you setting this up? Like? How... Is there a context? Thanks for playing, everybody. Especially you, Nick. Maybe we just shouldn't do this. <laughs> wow, that was a terrible mistake. Instead, let's make the rest of this episode about you guys. We have <coughs> tons of fans all across the globe. Send us what am I voting for? Fan art and cosplays and all that stuff has made this project so much fun to work on. I mean, you guys are the core of Sunset Overdrive, and we just want to celebrate that. So thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for playing, and thank you so much for spending your hard-earned cash on this game. From all of us here at Insomniac Games, we <laughs> love every single last one of you. Platonically. Let's, let's not make this weird. What is voting? What do I vote for? I would just vote for a piece of fan art? Suck it with teddy bears. Oh, it's kind of... Uh, it's crazy that this is in the game. That's cool. So I voted for that. No active vote. Alright, I'm getting out of here. That was weird. Toilet paper, eh? There's some. There's some. Right? But how does one achieve this toilet paper? But, I, but, but how to? My immersion broken. Yeah, they just, they just kicked down the fourth wall and urinated all over it. And then came back and went, oh, sorry, was that your wall? Hmm. What is the fourth wall? Wait. Slam jump? Yeah. What? Looks like you got everything we need for tonight. No idea what I did. Are you really uh Was that in reference to what I said about the fourth wall or was that a an ironic comment on what they did. We can talk about some fourth wall. Talk about the fourth wall. Uh. Well, why? Um, if you're if you're asking, the fourth wall is a is the con is the concept there's that, that there's in. Yeah, basically. And it comes from kind of theater where there's like this, the the theory that there is an invisible fourth wall. If you know, if you go to a play, you see the set and there's there's a wall here and two walls here. Okay, it's ironic. Gosh darn it. <laughs> the invisible fourth, and then kick down the breaking the, mm, oh, fappa. Right. That's what FAPA means. No, wait. Ah. No, it can't be true. What can't be true? What can't be true? What is it? I'm not so I didn't! I didn't know! I didn't know! I mean, of course, I just, it's hard to read, and I, that's why you've got emotes, I know, but I don't know the emotes yet. Calcifox, that does not equal Fappa. Yeah, Kappa. <laughs> uh, it's called, I called Kappa Fappa. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to. Or did I? I don't know. I can't even remember anymore. 
Hey, yo! Nah, I don't need it. Fizco Center, like the Staples Center, or any other sponsored sports arena. It is and always will be a Vapa. Tell me again, though, is that guy, he's an active streamer? Red boxes or ammo? That's helpful. <laughs> How have I gotten through this game without knowing any of this stuff? It's okay, little bro, a long way you have before you Yoda face. What is Yoda facing? Hmm. A long way I have. Hmm. Too young he is. Too old. No. Hmm. Hey, I think I broke something and got some points for breaking it. Wait a second, I want that. Give me that thing. Did I get it? There we go. Points challenge. Yoda face is soon to be emote, I think. Who made a Yoda face? What's a what is the meaning of Yoda face? What is the meaning of Yoda face? Die, 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 die. Oh. Hey, what the? Come on. Bubbles Jr., yeah, but it can be applied. You broke our immersion. Bubbles, yeah, but it can be applied to different statements like, wow, this game sucks, or wow, what is immersion, anyways? The language is fluid. It is changing, always changing. Well, that's horrifying, isn't it? That clown, that clown. Oh. Him? Did I want to come back and talk to him? Troop Bushido? Not surprised those kids survived. They were always prepared for anything. <laughs> what do you think of the place? Don't worry, you can still go back to the brewery if you want. Uh, but this base will let us brew some new amps. I installed another vat, so make sure you check in on both vats often. Okay. We got ourselves a nice corner spot here, but that means we'll need to protect the base from two angles. Like I said, we got two vats now, which means better amps, but more vigilance, you know? The vats all pull from the same source, so we'll lose overcharge if either one gets attacked. Remember to use your traps, and you should do just fine for the most part. That makes sense, sort of. Defend the overcharged vats while the amps cook. Equipped traps, right. Senor Freeze. Pyro Geyser. That looks intense. 